So I'm always looking for different products I can use for my business, especially when it comes to taking the photos for my business. I'm going to find any way I can to improve my product shots because most of my product is sold online. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. What's up icons? It's the iconic fashion figure. I have a bad habit of buying a bunch of stuff, I should say, but especially like different gadgets. And when it comes to my business, I definitely will buy what's needed to improve my business because I'm always looking for new ways to improve. So of course I was on Amazon buying a bunch of stuff that I probably could have done without, but once I actually received the items, I was actually shocked at how much I needed these items or how much I was missing these items. These these are just those items that you don't know you need until you have them. So I wanted to share with you guys a, a few of my Amazon finds to improve my product shots and my social media shots, all the photography for my business. So the first item I'm going to start with is this LED phone light. When I tell you, you guys, this light is spectacular. Like the lighting I'm using right now to record my video, there's three of them. I can probably record with just this one if I was recording with my phone but it does have a little clamp at the bottom so you can clamp this to like a laptop a tablet you can clamp it on to other items but because I have a camera and stuff set up I record YouTube obviously with my camera not my phone but this baby here this thing works wonder it does make an improvement on your lighting so if I want to be out taking photos for my business especially social media or recording TikToks or different stories this thing comes in handy especially if you're going to be taking taking photos at night it definitely brightens up your photo so let me show you guys how this thing works so basically take a device whatever device you want to take your photos on and this little clamp you literally clamp it on now it does come with the charger so you'll want to make sure you charge it so this is a little box it comes in along with the little clamp and the charger cord which by the way is literally just a little cord does not come with the charger block which these products are starting to drive me crazy with that because when I got all these Amazon boxes and a lot of this stuff needs to be charged I had to go running around my house trying to find little charger blocks to charge up all this stuff and had to keep switching out cores to charge all these different products but then it also comes with the little clip that you can put onto a tripod so for those of you that have a tripod and you want to attach your phone to a tripod and it's missing the phone piece you have one I have a million of these but it's always nice to have backups because they go missing so I'm going to show you why that piece is important important in another video when I show you guys how to record your own lookbooks that piece will come in handy along with this flashlight but let me just show you how the flashlight works because I know you guys are waiting to see if it actually works or not so I showed you I already have it clipped onto a device I tried to make sure the camera if I'm doing it on the front camera is in the center or if you're on the back camera just move it over now at the top there's three buttons so there is the power button which you got to hold to turn on so you guys see how bright my face just got just from doing that but then there's different settings to this so you guys probably can't see because of my camera yeah it only gets worse so on the light I have like the warm and the cool lights on right now but if you press the buttons on here right now it's brightening up I don't know if you guys can tell the difference like if you look at my face it just keeps getting brighter yeah now you definitely can tell because I'm starting it's like starting to wash me out now sorry I'm not looking at the camera I'm looking at my viewfinder because I'm looking at my face but it is you can see that my face is starting to get brighter this is how bright it gets and then I I can tone it down like all the way down to almost like it doesn't even exist but if I go closer you guys can see that it is still on I still have it on but if you pull it further away it's really low light then if you press the power button you can adjust the different types of lighting so right now again it's hard for me to show you guys on camera let me brighten it up at least right now I only have cool lighting on so there's no more warm light before I had cool and warm on now I only have cool then now I only have warm so you guys see how warm my face just got before it was like kind of whitewashed now you see more of my natural color and again I can go brighter so this brightens me up but it more so gives me like a highlight on my face versus washing my face out and then here I'm back to the cool cool and the warm but it's more subtle so even though my brightness is up it's not as harsh as that first setting I showed you guys and then we're back to cool so there's four different options you have the cool and warm on a low scale the cool and warm on 
on like an intense scale then you have cool only warm only and then the different options of like low level to very intense it was like 10 times i can click that so this is i like the warm lighting more but i'm on cool right now so let me turn off my studio lights so you guys can see without my studio lights on what this light will look like Okay, so I just put down the phone LED light and I turned off all my studio lights. So this is me in my room, no lighting. I even have the windows closed. Like you guys can see the blinds. You can kind of see the sun coming through, but there's no lighting on me. I'm dark right now. This is with the cool light only. This is with the warm light. I can go more intense. And this is the like low intensity cool and warm lighting. And then let me go more intense. This is a mix of cool and warm. So if I'm just using my phone, to record really quick it is bright enough but if i was recording youtube with my camera using this light i wouldn't use it because you guys can see like pretty much it's almost like i got a flashlight on my face so i would use this specifically for my phone or maybe even if i'm doing like zoom or something on a laptop and i want to brighten up my face because that's usually the focus but now you guys can see how bright it is so now I'm back with my studio light. So this is what my lighting would look like in my room without the LED light. And I know I showed you guys compared to showing it on my face with my studio lights versus no studio lights on and the flashlight only. And you kind of get an idea of how bright it makes you. But I really want to show you guys if I wasn't in a big space and I'm only, you know, let's say I'm recording in the dark some at some place. Let's say, I don't know why I would be recording here, but you're in a movie theater and you wanted to record something really quick at the movie theater your focus is on you and not like this big space around me so I'm gonna go somewhere else where it is dark but the focus is on me so you guys can really see the difference in the camera okay so I just came over in the stairway where the lights are off and there's no windows around like upstairs the window is open so you can kind of see a little sunlight to the right of me but for the most part it's dark over here sorry I'm moving my phone a lot and this is me recording without the light and this is me recording with the light on now the setting that I have on right now is the warm and cool light setting on I have it probably pretty high so yeah if I wanted to look a little more natural, I can lower the intensity so it's not too bright. But you guys see how much of a difference that just made from what you guys... Oh, well, my hair looks good too. Anyway, but you guys can see the difference of how dark I just was versus how bright I just became. Because I now just have my phone focused mainly on me. And I'm not in like that big setting where I normally would record at. And just so you guys can see the other options. That is cool only. And then this is warm lighting. Then I can go brighter if I want to brighter on the warm setting. But those are the different settings and now you guys can see how much of a difference it makes with having this led light on because now i have no light and you guys can barely see me so i just showed you guys my led mobile light for a phone or a tablet if you want to use that and what that will look like you guys can see just from that footage i used with me in the stairway where there was no lights at all no windows how much of a difference when i'm just recording on my phone let's say i want to take it up a notch and not necessarily taking selfies but i need to be out and about taking pictures of myself especially if I'm like out recording a TikTok or a reel or something like that well I have my gimbal too which I bought this mainly as a stabilizer for when I record holding in my hand as you guys can see I was just recording with the LED light showing you guys that in my hand I kept shaking because I moved too much I do not have steady hands at all so this gimbal which is also a stabilizer helps a lot now with this I can attach my phone to it I have the extra piece on there because there is a little stand that comes with it that you can screw into the bottom and it almost works like a tripod or you can just use it like a selfie stick so I can use this as a selfie stick or flip it out and put it on a tabletop to use as a tripod so it can record me so now I can use my LED light on here as well as the gimbal to record me and what I like about this gimbal is the app that comes with it because I'll show you guys some footage in a second where in the app not only can you like record yourself you can set it to focus on you so now that I'm in the app when you click start there's a few different features on there like I can do the focus where it'll focus on my face and always follow me every time that I move this and then there's a section what's called moments and moments has a bunch of different options on recording different videos like inception where it kind of spins and it gives you that time lapse you can do a 180 or 270 you have fantastic rotation where it literally would just rotate in circles you have panoramic video so if you want to get a 
full view of like an entire room this gimbal does that for you so I can set it up as a tripod and allow it to just record in these rotations on its own the camera moves for me I don't have to do anything then you got the slow motion time lapse then you have the dolly zoom where it kind of like zooms in and out on the object you got dynamic and then lucky which lucky I believe it just picks random ways to move on its own and just to show you guys when I have a tabletop in front of me so I'm gonna sit it on here let me adjust the setting right and I start the dolly zoom And just like that, it just recorded a video for me. I didn't have to do anything. I did it completely hands-free. Did not touch it. And you can do that with any of those features. And now I have the face tracking set on there. So if I move, my camera moves with me. I wish you guys could actually see the footage of the gimbal. Let me see if I can bring it closer. Okay, so I'm closer to me. If I move over here, do you guys notice it's turning with me? Move over here, it turns with me. So this is perfect if you're recording TikToks or any type of footage. Or like when I do the video showing you guys how to go out and record your own lookbooks. You guys can see how useful this comes into play because it'll move with me. I don't have to adjust anything. I can do all of that completely hands-free and let the gimbal do everything for me. And now I'm using both the gimbal and my light. So these work perfectly. So if I'm out and about and I need to record, and you don't have to use the front camera. I'm just using the front camera for the video, but you can use the back camera as well. But you can use these out and about, record your own footage, take your own photos because there's also a timer. And this app, sorry, I'm moving so you guys can see that it's moving with me and it does still work with the flash you just have to put your device which your phone for the gimbal it's the only thing that'll work with the gimbal is a phone you put your phone on the gimbal and then put the flashlight on because if you put the flashlight on first and then attach the phone it'll send the gimbal going crazy it doesn't recognize the phone because it's now too much weight but if you put the phone on first then the gimbal it does work and you can go ahead and record your own footage as needed take your own pictures because there is a timer so let me stop that video go to photo and it's already counting down because I already have a timer set so it looks like it's set for there we go I just took a random picture of me talking so it looks like I had my timer set for three seconds and it went ahead and there it goes it's taking the pictures for me and then now when I turn the gimbal off you guys will see it'll go kind of out of whack it just like lets the phone like free fall then as far as the buttons on the gimbal and uh, you see it moves around on its own when it's closed but on the front you have like this little swivel so this is how I can turn it left and right to either face me and then you can go up and down too so it will move this part up and down so that way if I'm standing up and I need it to look up or look down and then there's a button on here to start recording or take pictures as well so if I am out taking selfies I can click the button versus trying to click it on my phone and then you have the power button which also is the button that will rotate it from portrait to landscape but that's pretty much it on the gimbal I love this freaking thing it was one of the best investments I ever made between the stabilizer and then all the features that are in the app. And next we are going into this big old brick here. This thing is heavy, which it is the foldable mobile phone holder. This works perfectly if you're trying to get flat lays or let's say you have accessories you want to take pictures of on like a tabletop or anything like that. This also can work more like a tripod too because you can also put your phone on here and take videos and pictures of yourself. So I'm going to do a demo on it, but just so you guys can see exactly what this thing is. So see up here, I can put my phone in here. This also has a light on it. You guys probably won't be able to see it on camera. And then it also has a remote on it. But instead of showing you guys right now, I'm going to go ahead and get into the demo and show you guys exactly how this works and what it's best used for. So we have the foldable phone holder, which to get started, you have to push this out and it unfolds. You got to slide that out, lift it up, and then lock this into place. Hopefully you guys can see the whole thing. So so on the front of it, yeah, you guys can't see it. This is the phone holder. So this is where you would place your phone at. You can slide this up goes up even higher so that way that's what I was talking about if you want to record your different um, like TikToks and your reels and stuff like that you can because this goes taller for video I'm gonna bring it down just so you guys can see it within the camera there is a light on here on both sides actually did it die already well anyway this here has a light on it as well as on the back there's two lights you have to charge this which I did charge it yesterday but I guess not long enough this little piece 
right here is the remote. That is the button for the light and you can keep clicking it for intensity. That's for the backlight. And then you have a button for the camera because this is a Bluetooth remote so you can connect this to your phone and use this to start and stop, you know, videos or taking pictures. And there's a little slot in here you can slide this in. So this is one way to use it if you're like recording yourself. But if you're taking product shots, you want to flip it that way so that this is bent down because then the product would be down here and then slide your phone in. So now I'm in my camera and let's just say I throw an item down that I want to take pictures of. I can just set this up in the frame and then I can take photos. And because like I said, my hands are not sturdy and I have a terrible time, um, you know, trying to keep it steady to take videos and stuff. I can use this phone holder to do that for me and then use the little remote to do so. The other good thing about it is this swivels. So if you need portrait or landscape, you can switch it around. So now I have it more portrait mode instead of landscape. And again, I can take pictures. If this was charged up, like I thought I did last night, it would have a light on there to brighten this up. So that way, you know, I can have a better light, but of course it's not charged. So you guys can't even see the light, but that's the foldable phone holder. Again, you can bring this up and I can do videos and pictures from the back side of my camera so I know you guys can't really see me but if I'm here I can take videos and pictures of myself as well and now I'll be going into my photo props I've been looking for the perfect way of recording accessories for a while now I haven't been exactly sure how I want to do it specifically for like social media and product recordings for like videos and whatnot like I have my traditional pictures that I use on my website because all my products are usually on white backgrounds for my website but for social media and marketing I needed ways to take pictures of my accessories so I finally bought like these little props off of Amazon that I can use to set up and take good pictures of my accessories but I'm not gonna do too much talking about it right now I just want to go straight into the demo to show you guys how exactly I use all of these because there's a bunch of little pieces in here that I don't want to take out right now until I get to the demo so now the photo props which are just a bunch of foam squares I got the pink shade they also came in like white but pink is my color so that's the color I got um now I could have technically gotten these from Dollar Tree like the wood blocks and just painted them and it would have been a lot cheaper because so I think I got what like 10 or 14 pieces here but to get started I'm gonna use this little cube the photography cube that comes with the LED light on the inside that's why you guys can't really see it because now it's so much light over here and just set these up and I bought these again for accessories I'll probably start with the bigger one there's a bunch of different shapes and sizes and basically Basically what I can do here is pretty much just set up a scene. You guys can't even see this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do without the square so you guys can actually see because now it's all washed out. Which by the way, I got my cube from Five Below. So I got it I think for $10 though, not five. Amazon does have these so I'll, I'll link one of these from Amazon. I think costs a little more than 10 but if your Five Below doesn't have it, you can get it on Amazon too. But basically, originally I was gonna set up a scene with the photo prop in the cube because it has the lighting but for YouTube purposes Purposes, I'm gonna go without the cube so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So as you guys can see, I just set up a few of the different foam options to set up a little scenario. Let me move this camera down so you guys can see it a little better. See if I zoom in. So you guys see that there, there's like a little architectural setup there of props. And then with that scene, I can go in and let's say throw a pair of sunglasses in there and take a picture of sunglasses. So it looks like there's a scene set up, but really it's just a bunch of foam props or even throw in like some earrings and do like a close-up of those earrings there like you could play around with this especially since there's so many different cubes that are in there there's triangle there's circle and then with the earrings you can actually stick them in I don't know if this is gonna stay up but because it's foam the earrings stick in and I can put a few different items on there like the sunglasses in the earrings just creating a scene get creative with it but the props help to give your photos a little oomph like add something to it and 
and it's not just of the product. And then into the next product because there's a ton of stuff that I haven't bought off Amazon lately in like the last week or so that I probably don't need to be buying, but I did. I bought this turntable tabletop. This is another way for me to be able to record accessories, especially videos, to do kind of like commercials of my accessories. I bought this tabletop. So it's an electronic tabletop that I can turn on. Oh, I forgot this one needs to be plugged in. So I don't have it plugged in because once again, it's one of these products that don't come with a cube. So now I got to go find a cube. But basically, if I turn on that switch, when it's plugged in, it'll start spinning in a circle on its own. Now I bought two of these. I have this little one and I have a bigger one that you guys are going to see in a moment. That So for this little one, this is going to be for the accessories because this goes on a tabletop where I can take the videos and pictures. But the bigger one, I can actually stand on it and do the clothing with or either put my mannequin on it as well. You guys are about to see the amount of fun I just had with the bigger one with me standing on it and spinning on it. Now just really quickly before I get into the demos of the two, the biggest difference between the smaller one and the bigger one other than one being a tabletop and one being for the floor is the smaller one has one little switch and you turn it on there's one speed and it just spins in one direction and in order to get it to stop you have to turn it off. And this one you can either have it plugged in and have it spin or there's a battery option on the back so you can add and I think it's like a 9 volt battery that you have to put in here and you can use this one wirelessly. We have the tabletop turntable. So I forgot to show you guys the tabletop turntable comes with these different pieces that you can put on top of it. So there's an orange one, a black, there's white, and then there's gray. I'm just gonna leave it white to show you guys but you can put any of these on top and if you're like taking pictures from a top angle you would see that color behind it. But now we have it plugged up so I can show you guys it actually works. And I don't know if you guys are even going to be able to tell that it's spinning because it spins pretty slow and it's super quiet. You guys notice there's like no noise at all, which is perfect if you're recording videos. Put my hand in there. It's perfect if you guys are recording videos because you don't have to hear this thing turning. But you would just pretty much put product on there. Let's use these sunglasses again. And now you can record a video or take pictures of this product. So like if I'm taking pictures and I want to try to get every angle, I can use the turntable and just keep snapping as it's turning for me. I don't have to keep twisting it. Or you can record video footage and let it just spin like this. I can even incorporate the cube, throw it on top of a cube and let it spin there if I need height or if I wanted to create the scene right on the cube that would be nice too. But that's why I like this tabletop and because it's so quiet it works out perfectly. So wait a minute, I just discovered something as I was getting ready to go to the floor turntable. It actually does spin in the opposite direction if I switch the on switch to the opposite in. So the on switch you can go both left and right and that'll be the direction it spins in. So like right now you guys see it spinning one way and then now it flips to the other way. You just have to manually do it by turning the on switch either left or right and it'll switch directions. Now with the bigger one, this is the bigger one and it is lightweight. It's not heavy. It holds up to 220 pounds. This one always has to be plugged in. There is no battery option on the bottom. It has to be plugged in in order for it to function. But the part I like about the bigger one not only because I can stand on it and I can spin in circles it comes with the remote that I have upside down but it comes with the remote and on here you can press different options so you have different angles of the way you want it to spin you can do like a one degree turn you can do a 45 degree turn 90 and 180 or you can have it rotate 360 you have the start and stop button on here so I don't have to keep pressing the power button to get it on and off I can stop it and go when I feel like it you have the options of going different directions so I can have it spinning clockwise or counterclockwise whichever I prefer and then there's also speed options on here too so I can make it go faster or I can slow it down so I really like the big one because of the remote with all the different options again this one's not wireless which sucks because that means I got to try to hide the cords when I do my pictures and videos but at least I have the remote the remote is battery operated it took two AAA batteries and now I'm standing on the floor turntable and right now it's off well at least I haven't started it yet. I have the remote here and if I want to start it I just press play and as you guys can see the long footage I'm recording from my phone using my gimbal so you can get the full body because right now the way my camera set up you can't see the full body but this will literally just allow me to spin in a circle. Now with the floor one, you can hear a little buzzing to it. It's not super loud, but it's not as quiet as the tabletop version. Then if I want to go the other direction, hit the button and it'll spin me the opposite direction. 
so turn back towards you guys. I want to focus on you, so I'm going to go back the other way. But let's say I only want to do a 90 degree turn. You notice it just stopped and automatically spent me the other way. I did not press anything. Actually, I'm going to put the remote down and hold my hands up. You notice it just stopped and it turns me back the other way. So you guys will get a full 90. You can do that with 45 and 180. But if I want to have a continuous turn, I'll just press that so it can keep going. And I don't know if you guys can hear it getting louder, but it's starting to speed up a little bit. Or I can slow it way down. And now I'm going a little faster. I mean, I can have fun on this all day long just spinning around. These shoes are slippery, so I'm afraid to move. But that's the floor one. And this works perfect to take videos and to get footage, take pictures. So I can set my camera on a timer and have it keep taking pictures of me. So that way it gets the pictures of the product at different angles. You have the front, the sides, and the back. So that's it for this video. I think I've done enough talking, but I get really excited when it comes to gadgets. I like buying a ton of gadgets and trying different stuff, especially when it comes to photography because I love that. That's the creative part of my business that I love most is the photography. I enjoy doing that. So I just wanted to show you guys what I bought on Amazon in case you guys are interested in as well and you're looking for ways to improve your product shots and videos. All the links are in the description box for you guys, for any of you that are interested in these items. Items. because I am an Amazon affiliate and I do get paid a small commission on the items when you guys use my links Amazon prefers for me to not provide pricing that's it for this video thank you guys for watching